Now let's work on this area right up here where it kind of terminates at the cab or interior of the car right in here. So let's work on that. Let's uh, tab back into edit mode and I'm going to turn off the subdivision surface again. And for this we need to take a look at where we are up here on the top. This has got to come back, come back toward the windshield here, but it doesn't just end here. It continues on beyond the windshield. If we Go to the side view. We can see that here, this piece right here, this extends back beyond the windshield. And you can kind of see that in here, right there. Actually, let me see if I can find a uh, another side view that might give us a little bit more indication of this. This is a side view, although the resolution isn't great on that, but I think that may be the only one we have. So let's take a look at this one. And what I'll do is I'll press Control Spacebar to enlarge that window and let's zoom in here. So you can kind of see how it comes back, goes past the windshield and then comes down into here. That's what we're gonna work on. We will place the windshield on there a little bit later. But let's press Control Spacebar to go back to here. I'll hit the seven key and let's um, select this and Control click this so we get all of these edges. I think I'll go to the quad view, Control Alt Q. And now we can see it a little better here. So here's our side view. And let's just take this and extrude. I'll hit E in the uh, side view and come back here. And we're a little bit off in the side view, but that's okay. I'm going to just continue on with that line here. And then we're going to want to extrude probably one more time here. I'll hit E and move back about like this right about here, and then I'm going to need to pull some of these points back to get them in line with that curve here. Something like this. All right, so let's assume that that's kind of what we want. Now we're going to need to continue this line right here, this vertex right here. Let's press Alt-Z. So we're going to need to continue that on through here, back to here. So what let's do is go ahead and select that. And I want to be mindful of our edges here. I don't want to change this one right now because that's telling Blender where that curve is going to be when we turn on our subdivision surface. So I think this is going to line up with this, and this one is going to line up with this edge. It looks like this edge and this edge may line up, so I think I'm probably going to need an edge right through here. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll drop one here. We can now maybe take these and just slide these up a little bit, kind of get them prepared for connecting up. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm hitting G two times here. And those look pretty good here. I may take this one and move this back a little bit like that, just to get them ready to go. Now what let's do is let's take this point and begin extruding back so that we can connect these up. So what I'll do is I'll hit E and pull this back and I wanna pull it up some, kinda of like this. I wanna bring this back and in line with these. I wanna keep an eye on it in all of my viewports. And I'll do that again. I'm gonna hit E and angle it up just a bit here like this. Maybe into here. Get that in place. And I'll hit E and pull this up. There we go. And I'll hit E and pull this up so it lines up right about there. Yeah, let's try that. So I'm just trying to extend this edge up to follow along with the existing mesh. You can see that here. Now, Ultimately, we may remove this. We may actually remove this or remove this edge or whatever in the smoothing mesh, as I've said before, but for now, we're really trying to get these basic shapes in so that we can duplicate off the actual fenders and doors, etc. So now that we've got these, let's go ahead and um, fill them in with faces. I'll just uh, select these two, hit the F key. There we go. These two. Hit the F key, there we go. So now we've got those in place. I think I would like to change the path of this a little bit more, so I pulled this back, but it looks like it angles 
this way. So I better uh, use the G key two times to kind of slide this back like this. Not quite that far. Let's go like that. Let's pull this one back as well. I'm going to pull this back in the Y axis so we get just a little bit more of that curve there. There we go. And let's take a look at this now. Let's tumble around. I'll press Control Alt Q and let's uh, tab into object mode. And yeah, we've got quite a bit of an edge there. And that's because everything here is really so tight in here. So what I think I'll do is begin pulling some of these up a bit. I don't think they need to be quite this low. We can begin bringing these up. And I'm going to turn on the subdivision surface as well. And I'll turn off the edit cage so we can see the squarishness of the polygons as well as the smoothness of the subdivided mesh. And I just want to bring these up kind of into here like this. Let's try this. I'm going to bring them up just a little bit. I just want to see if I can get this area so it isn't quite so tight. We don't need to bring them up as much in here. Let me tab into object mode. Okay, I think we're doing pretty well. Let me uh, grab this and hit G two times and pull that back. And I'm going to pull this back as well. Let me turn the edit cage back on. And yeah, I just want to bring these up just a little bit more. See if I can get it so it is so that edge isn't quite as sharp there. Yeah, it's still pulling quite a bit though. And as I said, these areas here at the end of the subdivided mesh are always going to have some sort of uh, pulling or or puckering or something like that. Let me go to the side view here. Alt Z. And yeah, these are really pulling quite a bit here. But that's okay. Once again, we will be dealing with that once we begin closing this off, giving them thickness, things like that. All right, I'm going to tumble around here. Alt Z. Let's go back to object mode. Now, what we need to think about as well is this piece right up here, right up on top. Let's uh, go to another image to take a look at that. I'm going to maybe go back to this one here and let's take a look at this. And I'm going to press control space bar and you can see that whereas this vent here really is extruded out of the hood is a part of the hood. This piece really looks like it's just something that's been placed on top. You can actually see a seam there. So I think I'm going to create this as a whole other object. So in the next video, let's work on that.